Hi guys, welcome to my channel Mostly Programming. My name is Vivek and today we are going to start a new series on my channel in which I'll be describing different ways in which we can build an RFID based attendance system. In each of the video tutorials of this series, we will be making the same project but we'll be using maybe different controllers or maybe different IoT platforms or different communication protocols. The basic aim of this series is to understand that how we can make a particular project using different controllers and the usage by the usage of different IoT platforms. Sounds interesting, right? So, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back to my channel. I hope you are liking the content. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. I assure you that you won't be disappointed with the content. So, without any further ado, let's get into today's video. In today's video, what we are going to make is that you can see clearly on the desktop background, we are going to make an RFID based attendance system. And today we will be using Arduino Uno, uh, a Node MCU board, RFID and Adapt to Tio Cloud platform. Right, I'll be describing how we can configure the cloud platform, how, how to program Arduino Uno, how to program Node MCU, how to interface the RFID scanner with the Arduino and how to interface, uh, how to establish a serial communication between Arduino and uh, Node MCU. I'm going to tell you what is going to happen in the project. Our RFID scanner is interfaced to the Arduino Uno board. Right, the scanning data is going to Arduino Uno. Then we are serially communicating that data to Node MCU by establishing a serial communication between Node MCU and Arduino Uno. And then using Node MCU, we are writing those values, publishing those values using MQTT protocol to the Adapt to Tio Cloud platform. Sounds a little complicated, but it's very simple. Let's get started. First, I'll show you the components and how to interface all the components all together. Let's see that here. different IoT platforms but if we are using Adafruit in this maybe we'll use things we can uh, things speak in one another and there are lots of platforms so we'll be using different platforms in each video so just click on the first link io.adafruit.com so what you have to do here is create an account that's very simple you have to just fill in your uh, email ID and your password right you have to just sign up here then what you have to do I'll just I'm just going to tell you the steps right now very first thing, click here on Adafruit IO key. 
copy your username and the active key this is the AIO key we have to use this in our program which we will write for the node MCU board so copy this and paste it on your notepad or somewhere else right now let's begin with the configuration go to feeds C we have to create a new feed so uh, click on action create new feed uh, we'll give this feed a name for example for today's project we are giving it RFID attendance 1 or something like that create okay we have created the feed now go to dashboards we have to create a new dashboard for the feed so here create new dashboard and what we have to write here is same name or you can use any different name as well I'm using the same name here RFID attendance 1 so then open the dashboard that you have created like this by clicking on it then you will see such a thing in front of you what you have to do is click on the plus sign add a widget for this particular project we are going to use a stream so just uh, click on stream and then click on the feed that you want to display on that particular widget right next step give it a name maybe attendance font size you can change it to medium large small whatever is your requirement color scheme you can change to whatever you want like this so I'll just stick to green then show feed name yes show location if you want to show the location you can if you don't want to show the location you can't so you can avoid that step so just create block so that's all we have we have configured our IOT platform for displaying the values of the attendance right now let's program our node MCU and our uh, Arduino Uno I'll show you the Arduino Uno program first okay so this is the Arduino Uno program uh, link will be in the description to this code so what you have to change here is the rest of the program you have to use as it is uh, because I have set it according to my connections only so what you have to change here is right you have to write the address of your RFID card here and how to get that address I'm just going to show you how you can get the address of your card here for how can you do that just upload this code to your Arduino board and then what you have to do is open the serial monitor bring your RFID card in front of the scanner and see here it will print the address for you and what you have to do is just copy this address from here Control C close the serial monitor and paste this here in the string right so we are done here you can change your name or roll number whatever you want and you can do it with how many cards you have I was having three cards so I have done it with them only so you have to just scan the address and put it here you can change the name or whatever you want then simply upload this program to Arduino board we are here we are using SPI communication protocol I'm not going to get into the theory of that for that I'll make a separate video I'm just going to describe the project in this so this is the Arduino code just upload it on it make sure that to a board and a port is selected correctly and then we have the node MCU code what all changes do you have to make here first first change you have to write the Wi-Fi name here your Wi-Fi name that you're going to use here the password of that Wi-Fi here you have to write your username that I asked you to copy from the Adafruit IO platform here you have to write your active key AIO key that I asked you to copy from your platform right and then here what you have to do is here create some random variable all that but here you have to write the feed name that you have created on the platform for example for this particular case what we have done there is I did a one there so you have to just change it and you have to change it everywhere for example here and wherever it asks you for the feed name I guess that's it only so just it's a very simple program we are using MQTT protocol here MQTT protocol basically means that we are uh, publishing the values to the cloud platform using message queuing telemetry transport so let's upload this program to node mcu as well what you have to do is uh, take a usb cable and plug it into your node mcu board i'll just show you 
so i have connected my node mcu to the uh, laptop now what you have to do is go to boards and then you have to select the node mcu board from here this node mcu 0.9 or whatever here is mine is 0.9 so i'm just going to select it right after it has been selected successfully you have to go to tools again here and then you have to check the com port to whatever com your node mcu is connected and just then simply just upload the program so i have uploaded the program uh, started to upload the program now let's see if it's uploading properly without any errors you can see the program is almost uploaded the program is uploaded now so now i'll show you the output that we are getting on the serial monitor over here so i'll just show you here open your serial monitor and bring your rfid tag in front of the rfid scanner see it has successfully sent the packet if you are holding it for too long it may send multiple packets so you have to be uh, you have to take care of that okay so that was the serial monitor output of the node mcu now let's see the serial monitor output of the arduino board when we are scanning right let's go to our arduino board and then change the port and board from here so just open your serial monitor then the mo uh, serial monitor was already correct what i have to do here is change the baud rate to 9600 because this works on 9600 baud rate so now you can see it displays that please put rfid tag in front of the scanner and when you do so it tells you what the card address is and what roll number and name of the student or the particular employee is see you can see that on the screen what it displays and when you see here on the node mcu it will show you okay it will show you just it has successfully sent the packet let's see on the adaptive tire cloud platform here i have created my feed rfid attendance let's see at what time 11 19 11 19 11 19 i have received three attendances rfid attendance of rule number one three two we can see that in real time and whenever the teacher or the whosoever is taking care of the attendance can copy the attendance from here so i hope you guys like the project the codes for this will be in the description below you can follow the steps if you have any kind of queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below or you can even dm me on my personal social media accounts link to that will be in the description box below please like share and comment also subscribe to my channel because these things give me motivation to make such videos most next video we will be using only node mcu and rfid and a cloud platform to create the same attendance system we'll be eliminating the use of arduino board thank you very much for watching